was recording in, in ID Labs in, in oh, Pittsburgh. Oh, that, that's where, where Mac... That's where, okay. that's where Mac and Wiz, you know, where they came Did up. you ever cross paths with them? I did, yeah. Both, really? Both really great dudes. And that's why I was like, I, I saw what they were doing and I was like, it's like an hour from me. So I went up there and, and worked in the studio with, with those guys and wow. like, with people who work with them. Rex Arrow so, Films, is he up Rex there? Rex Arrow Films, yeah, that was the guy that, uh, Jake hit me up, he's like, I can do a video cheaper. Really? Yeah. Wow. He was there, um, the homie E. Dan, who's a legend in, in Pittsburgh and a legend just in general. He does a lot of Wiz's production and mixes. And okay. Stuff. I was up there, Mac was like 15 at the time, high school, still shit. in high school. That is roll, crazy. Rolling up trees, like roll up trees in the studio and just like smoking and like, be like, man, I gotta go to prom next week or like talking about graduating and stuff. And I remember him being like, this kid's wild. And <laughs> seeing his grind at Wiz Khalifa. No way. I was there in the studio the day that Wiz got his like big four one two, his like his Pittsburgh on chest his back tat. or is it a back or chest? I don't know. Okay. One or two, but it was the big tat. Yeah. And it was just cool seeing that gave me so much motivation. So you saw that was, they did that in the studio. He had just come back from a tattoo shop and had wow and like, was showing everybody. And I'll run into him randomly, and he'll be like, "Dy, what's up, man?" Like just he's still really, really, really still genuine, to this day. To this day. Wow. Genuine dude. Um. Genuine guy. Um, Isn't that crazy how everything comes full circle? It really is. I mean, he wasn't Wiz Khalifa how he is now no, back then. He was I mean, mixtape Wiz. He was mixtape Wiz. Which, this in my the, opinion, I mean, Wiz is the one dude who always makes great music, I, yeah. in, in my opinion. But wi like mixtape Wiz, you can't, you can't beat that. In incredible. incredible. Can't beat that. And it was cool to, to see his, his rise and to see Max rise. And as a kid from West Virginia, being like, all right, well, I, I, like I said, I was trying to get away from West Virginia. I was like, oh. I'm a big Wiz fan, big Mac fan. Their studio. Let wow. me call them up. Let me see if I can if I can go there. Drove an hour after class. Drove an hour. Worked on stuff. Came back at three in the morning. Got up. Went to class at eight the next morning. You know, like was like grinding. Was like, all right, I graduate. I'm gonna move to move to New York, and I'm gonna figure this out. Moved to New York. Lived there for a few years, and then that took me relationships, met people online, and stuff. Took me to L. A. And then now this transition to Nashville, which is where my current team is based. It's just been a journey, man. But it's, it's always been just like, I have no clue what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm just trying That's to That's the best part. I just, I just know, like, I just know if I keep going, it's going to work out. And so now, I mean. Now we're here. Now we're here, man. So, <laughs> so did, did uh, Max passing really affect you? Because for me, he was like, for me, he's always been my number one just entertainer, artist. Always looked up to him. And, I mean, it affected me when he passed away. And I never even met him. Yeah. So... I've never told this story before, but so he is, was a, obviously it hit me, it hit me hard. I, I didn't know Mac. Like I didn't have his number like to text him. Right. But my guy, Sean, who's here, he connected me with my DJ, DJ E train. And he also booked Mac on his first run of shows and connected him with his DJ, DJ clockwork, which is one of our other good friends. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, like I said, I was, I was recording in ID labs and Big Germ, who's a producer. Yeah, I know Big Germ. Yeah, great dude. I Big ran, Germ. I just ran into Big Germ like last year ago, year and a half ago. Really? Like in Atlanta randomly, and we were chopping it up just randomly in Atlanta doing something. I mean, I just know him through Max always talking to him in the intro and <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah, he's just, he's just, a, he's <laughs> another great dude, really talented. He's also a skater. He's a dope skater. Really? Too, yeah. Um, but anyways, so I, I was just tapped in with those guys, and I moved to New York, and Mac was doing um, the kids' mixtape release. Wow. And um, it was around that time, like Kool-Aid frozen pizza and all that yep. stuff. And I think kids was, I think that was a project. Yeah. And um, Big Germ was like, hey, we're coming to New York. Does anybody have a place we can crash? So I hit Germ on Twitter. I was like, hey, bro, like I got y'all. And he was like, cool. So it was Big Germ. It was Mac. It was his guy Q, Tree J. And like I know two, all of them, two bro. Two of their other friends, bro. They pulled up and crashed on my couch on my floor in Brooklyn. All of them. <laughs> Hung out, hanging out, crashed for like a couple nights. And we're just chilling and stuff. And then um, throughout the years, like we would meet up with, you know, Clockwork would invite us out to a show in Cincinnati or in LA and I'd pull up and I'd see Mac and he'd always be like, D, bro, my guy, bro, I'll never forget when you held us down with that couch uh, in Brooklyn. And I would always be like, bro, like, don't mention it, like, it's all good. And, but literally throughout the years, like we're talking like five, six, seven years later, he would come up to me, show love, we would chop it up and he would thank me for that. And I just thought that was the coolest thing ever because I'm a fan of his music and a fan of who he was as a person. And just for him to be so genuine every time I see him and thank him for like, bro, like, you know, when, when you come up, those relationships and those people who, who help you out even the smallest way mean a lot, you know? And I know that because like, you know, how it is, like 
people people might not oh, I don't like his music or something and then you get to a certain level of success and then they're like oh yeah bro I love his stuff you know but the people who support you from day one you remember those people and I, yeah he would just always That's always crazy. show love and was like the coolest dude ever and his passing it was more of like a it was more of a moment where you you realize that like life isn't promised like you never would have thought that would happen you hear every day about these tragedies and senseless violence and overdoses and dude i can't even count on two hands the, the, the amount of people who have like that i grew up with that have like friends and just peers and classmates that have passed away uh, under similar circumstances and stuff and it's just it's just sad man it just makes you want to want to go twice as hard in whatever yeah. you do and just like be present in life and and tell the people that are close to you that you know yeah. that you care about and I, I hear you talking about it in your music a lot too yeah you know yeah. um what was what was it like having max sleep on your floor though i mean dude here, that's here, that's still i'm still letting that sink in here yeah it's it man honestly at the time it was like he was the it was just the homie it was like yeah. the, the homies right because like i said clockwork's a good friend of ours to this day we were just facetiming him last night and he was there they were playing practical jokes on each other and just like, you know, doing stupid shit. And it was fun, man. It was just, it's cool. And I think that <clears throat> like you, like any influencer, creator, big person, like you're friends with them. And like, I might look at that and be like, dude, that's cool. Like I watch his stuff, you know, but like, you're like, oh yeah, he's just the homie. He does what yep. I do. And that's how I feel about someone Isn't that like, crazy? That's how it is with everybody until you meet them. Yeah. And that's how it is. And so like when I'm, when I meet when I, you know, an artist, even I'm a big fan, like I've met some really big artists and had conversations with them. And it's just like, I'm just, I'm, I'm an artist too. Like they're like peers. They're just, mm -hmm. you know, further along in their journey than I am, I guess. But it's weird because <clears throat> I'll get more excited to meet an actor or a, a creator, but yeah, man, dude, it was just like me. It was just like any of the That's other sick. homies, you know, it was just like hanging out with <clears throat> Zach and his people yep. or, you know, you and your crew, man. It was just, yeah, Mac was a very genuine dude. Um, and uh, yeah, I listen to his music all the time, man. And I just, I just, it's, it's even, I mean, I'm sure as, as a fan yourself, it's like, it's a little tough sometimes when you, yeah. I mean, in, in the, in a certain mode and you throw on a song, you're just like, man. Yeah. It's different.